my internet friends and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to go back through my Pinterest and we are going to sort through some more So the last one that I did of this was the Avatar. I think I'm going to do a different one this time um, just to keep it a little bit varied. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do Disney. So let me scroll all the way down. So the first one is this one. So it's like, how do you go... And then it has like a bunch of things and it's like, how do you Google something? And then it has like Scar being like, I'm surrounded by aliens. I mean, I mean, fair, fair enough. Oh, this one's sweet. So it's like a privilege, uh, Pocahontas response. So it's like, how can you say I have white privilege? Why do you insult me so? Privilege isn't something to be ashamed of, John Smith. It's something to be aware of. Um, I think a lot of us have been doing a lot of reading, a lot of research on white privilege, what it is, but that you can still have white privilege even if your life has been hard, it's a different type of privilege, like just because you have white privilege doesn't mean that your life is a cakewalk, it just means that, you know, you're less likely to be shot in the street with a packet of Skittles. Anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Hey, that girl looks like Aunt Isabella. Did you hear that? Aunt Isabella, it means I'm gonna marry Phineas. And then Candace is like, all verb, and verb's just like, that's so funny. Our preschool, the year of the ballerina and the cowboy. This was such a, like, Kim Possible was just so good. All the time, every day. Like, I feel like this show broke a lot of barriers. And it did, it broke so many barriers. It was one of my favorite shows growing up, and a lot of people used to say, I think as well a part of that was because everyone used to say I looked like Kim Possible. Um, just with brown hair instead of red and then as an adult I've had people go oh yeah you do and then it's, it's like been a thing of like I look like Kim Possible but yeah like that show broke so many boundaries like strong female characters the cowboy and the ballet like there was just so many moments like I loved this show so much it was such a good show <laughs> my cats are doing a Lion King reenactment it's too soon it's too soon way too soon I'm not having any of this. Sad, sad days. <laughs> Introducing your friend to a fandom. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, the amount of people I've bullied into watching Avatar. They thank me for it once I've done it, but like, Avatar, man. Just Avatar. Person, you obsess over books way too much, you're crazy. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. I know I'm crazy, therefore I'm not crazy. Isn't that crazy? I love this so much. It's like one of the greatest Disney pictures. I dare you to find a better one. And then someone's got like Loki. But Cusco refuses to buy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. That's just... Loki's playing right now. I need to watch all of them. When your friend knows you're lying and gets in on it without knowing the backstory, just like, yes. Doesn't happen very often. Normally when it happens with my group of friends, it's like a creepy guy in a club that you're trying to, like, survive. <laughs> when you fangirl in front of your non-fangirl friends, you're so weird. You have no idea. <laughs> I love it. Yes, that is 100% me. Oh my goodness. No one flex like Gaston with big pecs like Gaston. No one painfully astral projects like Gaston. Oh my goodness, yes. Disney shot my voice, but it's worth it. When you realize that they are them. It's like funny, but I don't believe it. You know, like Hawkeye's a little bit more capable than Ron. <laughs> I have to stop buying books. Oh look, bookstore. <laughs> I mean, not so much these days, but. See, that's the thing, just move to Japan and then you can't read any of the books and then you never go to the bookstore and buy books. So that's how you fix it. You're welcome. I mean, this one isn't funny, but it's also kind of funny. Did you know that Phil Lewis, AKA Mr. Mosby, was charged with manslaughter in 1993? I told you no one runs in my lobby. <laughs> Like, it's not funny, but it's also like, like, yeah, I don't know how to feel about that one. Like, it's funny, but it's not funny, if that makes sense, because it's awful that that happened to him and to the person who was accidentally manslaughtered. Obviously, I don't know the, the ins and outs of that one, but, um, yeah. I use some of my decorations. When admitting 
that I enjoyed Tango more than Frozen? True. I mean, the second Frozen is phenomenal, but I think the first Frozen gets way too much hype. It's better. Like, it's funny how, like, the fandom has just decided that there's a Team Tangled and a Team Frozen. Like, Disney didn't even try and, like, pin them against each other, but, like, we as a collective did it. We have another guest on one. No one's vain like Gaston, cause his pain like Gaston. No one falls to his death in the rain like Gaston. <laughs> I'd forgotten that one. I'd really forgotten that one. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. Chef's kiss, just chef's kiss. That's brilliant. <laughs> just a few more. I don't want to overexcite you guys too much. Just a few more. Oh, this one's cute. Jump, I'll catch you. Stitch needs more floaties. I'll, you got floaties. Oh my God, that's so cute. That's such a cute piece of fan art. Oh my goodness. That's adorable. You know what? This has been a Gaston episode. No one twerks like Gaston, makes it work like Gaston. No one drops down that booty and jerks like Gaston. He be up in the club with that ass gyrating. My he so fly that Gaston. I remember this one. Because it's like one of I always like I remember like trying to show people this one and like scrolling through all my it was one of the reasons why I started organizing like into rough categories but that wasn't enough because I was on Pinterest way too much but oh, speaks to me speaks to me so yeah I hope you enjoyed that I'm planning to do a lot more of these I have a lot of pins to sort I'll give you a list of my fandoms that's probably a better idea so here are my current folders, so you guys can pick folders that you want me to go through. I've got fandom and funny sorting, which is where most of them are, that's just utter chaos. I've got avatar, and I need to split avatar into further categories. I've got issues, and then within issues I've got folders that still need sorting of like eco, racism, women, and there's still like an army of just a bit of mess. Vegan memes, I've got superheroes, and then within superheroes I've got like Marvel and DC, but that needs to be subcategorized because there's too many in there. I've got Witch Druid, I've got what I call Yum Yums, um, I've got Harry Potter, I've got Creative Writing Aid, I've got um, Fun Facts, Firefly, oh my goodness what's others for now, let me look, oh my goodness, I need to sort this out properly, alright. I've got uh, Fandom slash Cute Art, I've got Game of Thrones, and Stuff. That's super helpful Cara, what did you envision with that. So let me know which um, folder that you're interested in me going through and organizing and yeah I will see you all next time. Bye!